Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today we are going to be looking at this guy right here. This is the VZ10 from Joy Audio, which is a KZ brand. And we're going to be discussing it. Nice box. get some documentation in there you get this card with the different kind of like the uh, spiral the tips and that they're both wide bore I don't know why they went with both wide bore instead of one narrow and one wide and then inside here you're going to get the case and the cable which we'll show you now Also very important is this one also has switches because they've been, they've been doing a lot of switches lately and here's your little switch thing that looks kind of like a sim tool very nice case it's a decent size doesn't open all the way it's kind of got that limiter right here but it opens wide enough might even be in room for a smaller dongle nice cable Certainly nicer than most uh, cables that are stock. And here's the unit themselves. And they come with these foamies, which I like on this model. And we'll get into that in a little bit. There are a total of eight switches each side, as you can see there. And it's kind of blocky, chunky. Um, Jeez, I don't remember what the name of it was. It reminds me of that all BA one that they had that was red and gold. Uh, it's that square shape, so it kind of got a, like a vintage thing to it. Uh, inside this 3D printed, uh, there's tubes and, and just really nice technology in here. Um, let's see if I kind of hit my notes. Okay, so there is a 7mm dynamic driver in here. There is also a four balanced armatures, so this is a true hybrid. There is um, eight switches, like I said, for variable tuning. 3D printed high precision sound tubes inside. You get an eight strand braided silver plated cable. And of course, memory foam ear tips with also silicone ear tips of various sizes. The foam only comes with the, just the one size, but you know, you squish them, put them in your ears, they form fit to your ears. There's no doubt foam gives you really good isolation. And these have good isolation. So even with the silicone tips, there's some excellent isolation going on there. Um, so you got a, a 29689 you got two of those balanced armatures, and you have 50024, one of those balanced armatures in here. So that's the combination. So I'm just going to bring up the, the specs. Let's get a look at the graph on this one, if we can, without making too much of a mess of my setup. And so the model number, of course, is the VZ10. The name of the, this new company is Joy Audio. I think their first IM was the Shine. I didn't get to test that one. Um, impedance, depending on the switches, will be 12 to 32 ohms. Sensitivity, 108 decibels. Frequency response, 20 to 40 kilohertz. That's a 3.5 millimeter straight plug, uh, 0.75 millimeter uh, two pin connector, and cable type is an eight core silver plated cable with a length of 120 centimeters. Inside the case, you'll get the VZ10. You'll get six pairs of replacement tips, 
metal needle for tuning adjustment, the earphone cable, the earphone case, manual, and of course the box. I don't know why it lists that. So sound-wise, let's get into the important thing, sound-wise on these. Well, actually, I should get into comfort. Um, these are a bit blocky. Even though the back is a little on the rounded side, it still is blocky. And these are a very chunky IM. So fit-wise, smaller ears, maybe not so comfortable um, long-term use and, and laying down or sleeping, maybe not so comfortable with these. Uh, regular use, not too bad for my ears at least. Um, but let's get into the sound. Sound-wise on these. These are of a kind of neutral bright. Now I'm not saying that the bass is missing. There is a uh, kind of not so much prominent mid-bass. Uh, Sub-bass has a good punch depending on the type of music you're listening to. But these are a little bit on the brighter side, so that should be noted. The foam does help with that. Uh, definitely, I like the foam better than the uh, the silicone stock tips on this. Um, that said, uh, I've tried a bunch of different other tips, and I didn't really find a tip that I really liked as much. Although uh, uh, the star tips were pretty good with this as well. So sound wise, you're getting you know decent kind of sub bass. It's not overpowering. It's more on toward the neutral area. You get into the mids, and the mids are a little bit more prominent. Uh, they sound very good, and you get into the treble. The treble has a nice amount of sparkle. Uh, definitely, uh, it does get a little bit elevated in the, the the upper mid, lower treble area. Not too much harshness, especially depending on some music. If you listen to like really old rock or something, maybe there's a little bit of a, a hotness there. And some other old music, maybe some 80s music, uh, jazz, uh, regular rock, uh, some heavy metal, um, hip hop and pop sound very good with this and it sounds great and especially things with the bass is elevated very good uh bright sources with this i would say no this pairs better with a warmer source there's very good uh very good detail in the sound stage and very good detail overall uh, i would say it has very good technicalities it may be not the most natural sounding I am in the world, uh, but it's definitely not a horrible I am. It definitely does a really nice job with certain types of music. Uh, it's articulate. It does scale well, depending on your device. And like I said, it would be better with a warmer source. Uh, even dongles, I've noticed with certain dongles, it sounded better than other dongles. Um, moving on entirely there's good tonality with this uh it is a very well implemented hybrid uh, i definitely think that it sounds good it's got good technicalities uh overall it does have an enjoyment factor there but like i said it is more of a neutral bright uh kind of i am so Overall, just remember that when you get this, this isn't the typical, like the DeFi or the AS24. Now, the AS24 was fun. It had very good technicalities. This one is very, very good at the technicalities. And a decent fun, but it's not that typical kind of tuning that you're used to. Um, I think overall, I think I like the DeFi and the AS24 better than this. Uh, and also the PR2. I really love the PR2. It's also excellent. But this does have its place. It does shine very, very good with certain types of music. And overall, very good. We've gone from, you know, a uh, single dynamic to an all BA and then to a hybrid. And I think this is on the right track. I would like to see an implementation implementation of maybe like a little retuning of this or something and i think it would be perfect um that said that is my opinion this has been the joy audio uh vz10 and this is a hybrid with a seven millimeter dynamic and four balanced armatures each side eight switches for tunability whether you like switches or not some people think switches are just the gimmick some people don't like switches at all um, 
I don't know. I'm on the fence with that. I mean, I like that the switches are there. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like using them. I usually, I only use them for testing. And then I basically, uh, you know, put them back to the stock configuration. And I like to listen to it basically stock because I want to hear what it sounds like right out of the box. And right out of the box, I'm going to tell you, I don't hate this at all. Not at all. Um, okay, with that said, that's basically my opinion on these. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.